Our President Joe Biden holds a White House meeting with so-called Dreamers immigrants who were illegally brought to the U.S. as children. Just last month, the president called on lawmakers to pass legislation to prote protect Dreamers using DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening. As he pushes for immigration reform, today President Joe Biden met with six immigrants who were brought to the U.S. illegally long time ago as children, among them a teacher, medical resident, and nursing home aide. And also, the Catholic Church strongly defends dreamers. Immigrants have done so much for America during this pandemic. Just last month, President Joe Biden praised immigrants and their contributions to America. Congress needs to pass legislation this year to finally secure protection for dreamers. The young people have only known America as their home. In the White House press briefing room, Press Secretary Jen Psaki told reporters the president wants action on immigration. The president believes that um, DACA recipients are part of the American story and part of the fabric of who we are as a country and kind of what the American dream represents. So bringing them here is an opportunity to highlight that. Earlier this year, just after President Joe Biden moved into the White House, the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops said this about dreamers. For years, DACA youth have been enriching our country. They and their families deserve certainty, compassion, generosity, and justice. And also said, permanent legislative protection that overcomes partisanship and puts the human dignity and future of dreamers first is long overdue. Meanwhile, riding on empty, Gas shortages at the pumps. South and mid-Atlantic states impacted following that suspected cyber attack. GasBuddy.com says 88% of gas stations out of fuel in Washington, D.C. Last night, the Department of Homeland Security announced a second targeted and temporary Jones Act waiver to give us additional tools to get fuel to affected communities. And in Rome, presidential envoy for climate John Kerry is set to meet with Pope Francis Saturday at the Vatican. Today, he met with Italy's prime minister, focusing on decarbonization. Now back to the Colonial Pipeline cyber attack for a moment. Restoring service is taking time, so be patient. And today the White House asked drivers, please only buy the gas that you need. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.